Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the project Depth Attentional Features for Single Image Rain Removal Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process In this process we address a rain removal problem from a single image even in the presence of heavy rain and then the rain streak accumulations our core idea lies in the new rain image models and then a novel deep learning architectures to remove the rain streaks from the image. We first modify an existing model compromising a rain streak layers and the background layers by adding a binary map that locates the rain streak region separately. By using this binary map, we can exactly identify where the rain streak is present where the rain streak is not present so second we create a new model consisting of a component representing the rain streak accumulations where the individual streaks cannot be seen and thus the visually similar to mist or fog and another component represents the various shapes and directions of the overlapping the rain streaks which usually happen in the heavy rains so we have to segregate the background and then the foreground separately the foreground is the rain streak region background is the other regions like objects so after that we have to apply the raindrop removal techniques to remove the rain streaks from the image then the output will be in the quality image finally the performance of the process will be evaluated based on the psnrs and the msc to estimate our process is efficient or not now we are going to discuss about the overall working flow of this process this is the overall working flow hence this process having the modules such as the image acquisition pre-processing segmentation rain streak removal then finally the performance estimation at first the image acquisition the input image is taken from the data set in this data set there are several rain streak images are there after getting the any one image from the data set we just move on to the second stage of the process that is the pre-processing in this pre-processing we have two kinds of pre-processor is there one is the image resize then the another one is the color conversion method in this resize we have to resize the image into an aspect ratio of changing the dimension of the rows and columns after changing the dimension of row and column we have to do the color conversion methods to find out where the exact rain streak is present or not at first initially it will predict the color variations between the rain streaks and then the normal region after estimating the rain streaks region we have to do the segmentation steps in the segmentation step finally the rain streaks regions will be extracted separately and then the other regions without having the rain streaks will be extracted separately that will be considered as an background and foregrounds so the background is the unwanted regions the foreground is the required regions hence in this process the foreground will be the rain streak images so it is the required regions to extract and one more thing it have to remove by this using the process so for removal we have a next stage of the project that is the rain streak removal process so we have a three kinds of rain streak removal process here one is the median filter method then the another one is the gaussian filter method then the third one is the collaborative method by comparing of the above two methods so by using these three methods we have removed the image rain streak image from the image then after the rain streak removal we just move on to the final stage of the project that is the performance estimations in this performance estimation we have three kinds of performance estimators one is the psnr then the other one is the msc then the third one is the time as usual you know about the time the time is means how much of the time taken for executing the overall process then PSNR in the sense peak signal to noise ratio then MSC represents the mean square error now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process at first open the MATLAB 2015B and then change the current directory now if you want to execute the process just right click in the main file.m and select the option run 
now you can see the several images having the rain streaks now i can select any one image from the data set and then click the button open after the selection of the input image from the data set the process will be getting to execute one by one after the overall execution i just explain the concept one by one now this is the figure one which represents the input image which i have taken as the data set image so in the title of input image after getting the input image from the data set we just move on to the second stage of the project that is the image resize you can see the difference between the input image and then the resized image totally the dimension of the image will be changed then the third stage of the project that is the ycbcr this is a kind of the color conversion there are lot of color conversion is there like lab color conversion chrome means lot of color conversion is there so among that we are using the ycbcr color conversions to convert the rgb into image into an ycbcr color transformations method so after the color transformations we are using to detect the rain streaks regions you can see the difference between the resized image and then the detected regions in that the the rain streaks regions will be highlighted like this then raindrop removal so in this raindrop removal you can see the difference between the original image and then the raindrop removed image so in this original image the rain streaks will be vis visibly available in this the raindrop removal image the rain streaks will be eliminated only the objects will be clearly visible now in this figure i hope you can understand better so this is the rain image this is the initial removed but the image is somewhat blur so we have to apply the final removal method to remove the image as well as the quality of the image will be retained originally finally performance estimations so for every process we have to find out the performance estimation here we have to find out the performance in terms of psnr msc and entropy as well as the time taken so here the psnr value is above 40 to 45 so that is the enough the msc will be very low only around 1.2 thanks for watching this video